That gets all of the outer tiles and the center tiles changed over to glass. Now what we can do is walk through the middle of our factory and take a look and see what's going down down below. And when we get to here, we can look down into the ocean. I like it. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to build out our Heavy Modular Frames factory building. Uh, we've got the factory itself, or the machines, I should say, uh, all set up, and they're all running smoothly, and everything's working well. I did have to make a few corrections after I left you guys in the last episode. Uh, let me go over those real quick. Uh, so, first of all, I, uh, I guess I must have miscalculated how much iron we were pulling off of the the first iron belt that is the second one up from the bottom down there uh, because what was happening was <clears throat> I noticed that these last two or three refineries in here uh, started stalling out uh, because they weren't getting enough iron so what I did was I moved the one <clears throat> excuse me I moved the one um, b uh, belt and lift off of that line and put it down on the bottom one because I had you know still had plenty of room on the bottom one uh, so that fixed that issue. Uh, the other thing that did not work the way that I thought it was going to, and I guess I should have known this if I would have thought through thought it through a little bit more, but um, I had placed a merger on this belt with the intent to send five of the ingots that these refineries were making, or this refinery, over to here because the you know this setup over here needed an additional five over and above what their refineries were making. But unfortunately, what that did, it, it actually caused two problems. Um, it was, it, you know, I figured what it would do is it would just back up and then, you know, it would push the rest of the ingots back on this line and, you know, and keep this system up and running too with the right quantities. But it wasn't quite working out that way. Um, what it was doing is it wasn't getting enough iron ingots um, to the two... Uh, foundries, I think it is, yeah, that, that are directly above me here, that were making the steel beams, which were then being shipped all the way up to the encased steel beams factory. So that factory was stalling out. It wasn't stalling out. It was, it was idle because it wasn't getting enough material, and that in turn was then not sending enough encased beams to the manufacturer, uh, which was causing that to idle. So what I did was I removed that splitter... And as soon as I did that, and this got caught up, now this has been running smooth as baby's butt. And um, instead, I just went ahead and overclocked this machine um, to send another five ingots. Um, because both of these together were doing 130, but I need 135. And also, I need to... Uh, I need to color this red. In fact, I, uh, I need to go through and change the color on several of these machines now that I think about it because I think this is the only overclocked machine that I have but I do have some underclocked machines a lot of them in fact but I will do that later I don't want to mess with that right now I think those are really the only two issues that I can think of that I had to correct to fix all of this uh, then I also decided to run the output of the heavy beams or sorry the heavy frames uh, this direction um, along, you know, so it kind of is going out this way instead of out that way. And I put the uh, little frames around them there and then ran that all up and around over here. And then set it up to the storage. Uh, so now we have have made so far uh, this many of the heavy modular frames. And that actually... Let's see, that's two, 350, 362. I think that's enough for um, making our adaptive control units. Yeah, we only need, we actually only need 200. So we already have enough to make this. So the only thing left here is the computers, uh, which is going to need 200 as well. Um, and then we can actually finish out phase three. 
So computers and circuit boards uh, are going to be the next two production lines that we're going to do. And we lucked out and found that really nice recipe in the last episode that allows us to make circuit boards using silica and copper sheeting with a refinery. So we'll, we'll definitely take advantage of that. Okay, so anyway, I think that gets you updated on everything. Um, we're going we're gonna to need to move some things around in order for this build to work the way that I want it to work, uh, including that power line. I'm going to have to move that power line over because otherwise the far um, line there is going to glitch into the building, which, uh, you know, obviously we don't want to do. We basically need to slide these power poles over a tile, um, which is now meaning, you know, means they're not going to be lined up with the ones heading to the north, but... There's just nothing for it. Either that or I don't use them at all. But, you know, this is gonna this is kind of like our central main street of what will ultimately become our factory city. At least that's the plan. And um I'm just still thinking I, I want, you know, one big power line running down through the center of it. So I'm gonna keep with that for now and at some point in the future, I might change my mind and not do it. <laughs> what we're going to do it for now. Uh, okay, so let's move this out to about here so that so the edge of the tower feet. Uh, oh, and we need to we need to rotate it as well. Uh, are right at the edge of the road there. There, that way. There we go. And uh, looks like we're. We need to come this way, one, two. Okay. Um, now, what we're going to do is... Do I have an extra connection there? I don't. All right, let's break this... Uh, hold on a sec. I want to try and do this without stalling out the other factory. So yeah, let's, this is only going to affect, I think, the lights on the road. So let's temporarily remove that so we can run this over to here. Then we can, and then I'll come back and fix that later. All right, now what we need to do is run down here and create a new pad or extend the pad that's currently there. Okay, that looks correct. We'll stick that there. And then we'll connect to there. And then this one can go away. And we should still have everything powered. So that just moves, you know, this far line outside the edge of the building. And get this final line hooked back up again. Okay, that takes care of that. Why don't we move the awesome shot closer? There we go. Alrighty, while we're over here, I'm going to grab some silica because we're going to be using a lot of glass today. Grab several stacks of that. And I think I'm going to also grab a few more iron plating. And we'll start with that. How many rods do I have? Yeah, we got a pretty decent amount of rods. Okay, so let's see here. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna go we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna go along and put in these steel pillars at each uh, section here now there this is gonna cause some issues with some stuff below and, and we're gonna have to 
I'm going to have to make some of those adjustments. And what I should have done in hindsight is I should have put these pillars in in the first place so I could have just worked around them, but I didn't think to do it. So, But we'll just fix all that stuff afterwards. It's, it won't be too bad. There just will be a few things we're going to have to move. Okay, so I've got all the pillars set along the top. Um, now let's go along and set them um, along the bottom here. Um, I think... Yeah, that's, that's not going through the foundation. It's on the other side of it, which I think is what we actually want. Right, because that, okay, so that gives us an even, an even three here. So this is where we're going to have a little bit of trouble uh, that we'll be able to fix, of course with some clipping. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the pillars down first so that way again we kind of know what we have to work with and then make the appropriate adjustments. Okay so uh, we definitely have a problem spot on this side uh, for two reasons for the pillar but also for something I'm going to do later. Um, so what we need to do is we need to either move these lines in you know on the other side of the pillar or we need to move them uh, around but I think we need to actually I need to move them in because of what again we're going to do coming up alright let's just uh, let's just take that piece back off that should fix that. Get rid of this and this and this. Very good. Okay, so that takes care of fixing this side of the building. We're going to have to make a couple of fixes. Just make sure all my pillars are lined up uh, over on this side too. So our only problem over here is right here. Everything else, I think, has cleared the belts coming across. Yeah, so we just got to fix this one. Yeah, that works. All right, let's take this bracket and this bracket out. That one is straight, right? I think so. It's a pretty tight wrap, but it's at least it's a an even smooth wrap. What about a beam? I mean that at least there's something there. <laughs> as jank as it is, right? We're gonna go with that. Okay. That fixes all of our obstructions down below now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to do this. We're going to remove some blocks like this. And we're going to do that all the way down to these pipes. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the industrial railing and flip it that way. Very good. Okay. You'll see why I'm doing this. I, this is all aesthetic for funsies, not for function. Now, I want to uh, take this piece out, I believe, and let's go to our catwalk stairs and bring those down. I'm going to do two of these. 
I wish we had more stairs options um, in this game. Oh, that's a problem, isn't it? Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's try something different here. Let's attach the stair to there and bring it up to there. That doesn't work either, does it? Then, what I'm going to do for this is... What does this look like? No, I don't like that. Let's just put these in here. That should work. Don't punk your head on that. Hmm. That is a bit of a safety hazard, isn't it? <laughs> um... Actually, I think that's going to, uh, here, let's try something. This is actually the next thing I'm going to do anyway. So, uh, let's go to here and we're going to grab the glass frame foundations. I guess we're, I guess we're clearing that just barely. Anybody else that was walking down there that would be taller than us would have some issues, huh? We could put a sign there that says, watch your head. <laughs> but... The other thing we could do is, is um, put a... I mean, there's no, there isn't a half version of this, unfortunately. Uh, but there is a half version of this. Uh, or we could even just do catwalks. Oops. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a catwalk in here with a rail there and there. That's better. That's more like it. Okay, good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to replace the central corridor and the outer uh, section here with these glass foundations. And um, I don't suppose there's a way I could do that in one step, is there? We take the glass frame foundation. Um, that's the direction I want it to go. And hold control. No, it won't let you do it. That's too bad that you can't do that. Because now I have to, you know, manually go along and... Not that that's a huge deal, but... You know, there, there's a couple things... Or, oops. There's a couple things you can do that with... Um, or at least one thing I know of, and you can replace a, a wall with a door by holding control. And there may be, you know, some other things that let you do that too, but apparently this is not one of them. So, is what it is. Are we all the way down? Yep. A 
and we'll grab the glass frame foundation and that's the way we want it to the direction we want it to go in nope not that direction this direction why didn't you keep your direction man Yeah, I, I think we're okay with that. Because it's got these these beams in particular that are supporting the weight of the pillar. Plus, it's not... It is kind of noticeable, though, isn't it? Hmm, is that going to be a problem for me? I don't know. Let's leave it that way for now. I might have to fix that later. So, everything all the way down, we're going to turn into glass. This is going to be a build of glass and steel. That gets all of the outer tiles and the center tiles changed over to glass. Now what we can do is walk through the middle of our factory and take a look and see what's going down down below. And when we get to here, we can look down into the ocean. I like it. I thought about maybe doing the side pieces to glass too, but I think for now I'm just going to leave them as concrete. Uh, but we can't. What we can do is turn them to coated concrete, and that will make them look quite a bit nicer. I love the coated concrete. Look at that, huh? Sexy. Me likey. Got a couple spots here that I replaced uh, the wrong uh, material with. So let's fix those real quick. These are supposed to be the uh, these guys here. All right. Next part of this endeavor is that we are going to um, we're going to go to walls, and we're going to go to. Well, uh, let's just turn the filter off. I want the tilted four meter wall here. And getting this to behave is going to be interesting. If we go here and doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Of course it doesn't. All right. So I think what we're going to have to do then to make this behave is grab a normal wall. All right. Never mind. Let's try something different. We'll, we'll come back to that. Um, let's go to roof pieces and go to glass roof pieces, which we haven't used yet. And I'm going to man, you're being a pain in the ass too. Oh, okay. Hold on. This will work. There. That's what I want. Okay. Now let's run those over to there. Now can I fit the roof? Uh, no, the, the wall piece. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, so we're going to run those two pieces across the pillar. Uh, except for I want them to be the steel. And then we will connect you to here. If I can get you to behave. Oh, geez. Okay, here. Let's just go like that. That's... Yeah, the roof piece. Okay. Very good. Now we're going to come over here. And we're going to grab the... Tilted concave four meter and pop it in like that. Okay, so now over here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run these all the way down, but then we're going to come back and remove the ones that are glitching through the belt. Go back to the concave business here. Put that in there. Okay, so now let's come back and cut that one out and this one out. This one we will... Yeah, see, I, I don't like that gap there. We, we might have to fix that with either a zoop through or making these particular tiles solid and not see-through. Um, okay, so that's got to go. That's got to go. And let's go back to this, this wall here. Come on, dude. Snap onto the window, please. You're killing me. That'll work. Oh, no, that's not quite lined up the way I want it to be. If we do that, and then we... You are a real pain in the ass, man. There. Do that, and then go down there. There we go. Okay, so those, whoops, uh, those two need to be open. This one needs to be open. I mean, there's nothing for it, right? It can't be running through the glass. <laughs> it's just the way it's got to be on this side. Too bad there wasn't, uh, you know, conveyor holes on an angled piece like that, but there isn't, so. All right, good. That takes care of that. Um, I don't, we shouldn't have any complications on the other side. Because there's no conveyor belt sticking out. So let's go to uh, this outer corner roof. Uh, no, sorry. That's not what I want. Grab that. And we want to go to the concave piece and then turn it this way. And get it to snap in there like that. Okay. You know what I might do? Just because this one is really finicky. Is I might... Um, just run all of these down first. And then we'll come back and cut out... All of the ones that aren't running through the pole. See, it, it does, it's even a pain to get it to connect back to this one. And it's because, I think it's because it it wants to connect on the ends and not on the sides. Or at least that's the way it appears to be. Alright, we'll go back to you and... Right, grab one of them guys and there we go. Okay, 
and then we just cut these back away and put the glass in its place. See, now the glass is being a pain in the ass. I'm tempted to leave that there just because it, you know, it has this little border thingy. Hmm. If we do that, <clears throat> do we have any texture flickering happening? Not really. I think maybe that'll work, actually. Uh, it's not really necessary to do it on that. Okay, let's cut these. this lined up and then yeah let's just zoop those all the way through zoop that through to there whoops no, it just makes it look so much nicer down here because it keeps that you know border going there that trim trim piece I believe that's all I'm gonna do down at the bottom except for Why don't we do this? Why don't we run some industrial railing? Along the perimeter of the building as well. I think I'll, I'll leave it green for now. I'm going to try something else here, too, just to add a little more pizzazz to the place. Let's cut... Uh, let's cut this row out. So we can see a little bit of ocean here. A little bit of water. And we're going to grab this railing here. And run that down to there. Let's retexture um, this to use the coated concrete here at least. I'm debating whether or not I want to do that all the way inside to two, or if that's just going to be too much. It'll make it look, <clears throat> excuse me, look pretty cool, especially at night with all the lighting and stuff. And it'll also help it contrast more with this concrete here. Either that or we color it differently. Uh, no, let's just, let's go ahead and, and go with the coated concrete. Um, I'm going to need more plastic. I can tell that already. So let's go grab some. All right. I think I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Just like the way all the machinery and the conveyor belts and everything reflect off of the floor now. And again, it's gonna—I think it's gonna look even cool at night, cooler at night with lights and stuff like that going on. Now, next part is let's go ahead and get our our walls of our building built up, and I think we'll do that from up here. And we're gonna go with the glass walls, these full-frame window walls. Okay. So we want to take those up. Oh, you know, that's another thing I need to decide in terms of how high we need to go. We should kind of gauge that based upon our smokestacks here. Whoa! I fell through a hole. Can't even get through there. <laughs> stand on top of this yeah we can we're getting we're burning our feet with steam but 
All right, so looking at this, I would say um, one, two, three, four. We need a little room for the steam to move. Maybe we shave three off the top of these pillars. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so that means we need to bring uh, the windows up seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're just gonna go around and do this around the whole building. We have the walls all done. Now it's time to work on the roof. Uh, so I think what we'll do now is let's go to here and we're going to want this outer corner four meter roof. Um, we need to get it to snap up there. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's... Um, Let's put that up there for a second so we can get up here ourselves. All right, grab this corner roof piece. Now, um, let's get rid of this. I had a, a I had a, some challenges with this corner here, getting it to look properly supported. So what I came up with was putting down this piece here, because um, if, if we look at these frame types of pieces, there isn't anything, you know, like that's this shape that will fit in there. Um, so the best that I could come up with was to take a beam and connect it to, actually, no, hold on a sec. What we need to do is here, let's, let's get to the, uh, four meter roof and zoop that that way. Okay. Then zoop those down there. And let's take and put the one meter roof there. Oh, no, sorry. That's not the one. I want the flat roof. This one. Okay, and then if we if I hook that beam into that seam and then just bring it down to there. It's it, it's a little cheesy, but I just, you know, and I messed with this for a long time and I just could not find a good solution. What we could do maybe is come down to there and then put a connector there. But I wanted, you know, I wanted this to, to be a realistic looking support. Now, there is another thing we could do. Um, we could put a foundation in there which I didn't, uh, yeah, see, I would need to go purchase those other foundations. And I did try that, but I, w I ended up not being a fan of it just because, um, I, I felt like I didn't want that blocked in with something solid. I wanted to stay as, you know, open and airy, so to speak. So I'm going to go with this for now, unless I can think of something better in the long term. It, uh, what if we, here, let's take that back out for a minute. What would it look like if we put this in here? It, 
it fits a little bit better with the, this beam coming down. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we'll... May, I think I may like that just a little bit better than the other solution. Okay, and then what we're going to do for these pieces, these will work a little bit better because all we need to do here is grab a, a frame ramp and just slide it in. Uh, whoops, maximum nudge, nudge distance. Let's try that again. Grab the frame ramp. Really, you can't... You can't nudge all the way to here? You son of a beech nut. Let me see if I can force it to fit in there. It's just... It doesn't like it going in there. Alright, what if we take this out? There. It doesn't have a bottom in it though, so I also want to put the frame floor in there. Maybe though we'll stack the frame floor up like that. There, that looks better. That looks a lot better. And then what we can do is just put the frame wall here. I like that. Um, actually, I don't like that that's sticking out like it is, so maybe what we should do is before we pull that bottom piece out, put the frame wall in like that so it's not glitching up through the roof. In fact, maybe we just eat, whoa, maybe we just leave both of those in place. Well, no, I don't think we need to. Yeah, that's fine. I just got to put the frame wall in first before I re remove that bottom piece. And that to me looks like a, you know, a, a nice little support for the, for the pillar and the glass. Uh, but it's not solid, so you can still see through it, because that's kind of the theme of this building, is everything is glass and see-through. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do, guys, then for uh, for the corners and for all of the beams going down all the way around. Let's get her done. Oh, also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put um, the roof in, too. So we'll put all these angled pieces all the way around put the roof in and get these little bracket support thingamadoodles in. Now let's get her done. All right, guys, we got uh, the roof in place and it's looking pretty damn good. I'm going to do something else on the roof too. So let's get up there first. It's quite a, quite a ways up. <laughs> Get up on to the roof of our steel factory first. Replenish our jetpack and then here, let's do a little little boosty boosty thing here. There we go. Alright. So yeah, I like the way this came together. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a little more flavor to things. And so I'm going to I'm going to get out these walls here, tilted wall eight meter, and put them like this. Um. Oh man, you're gonna be a pain in the ass, aren't you? Doesn't want to connect to this. Okay, well then let's do this. Let's grab this piece, and we want to go with the eight meter corner. There 
And now we can get that to connect. Okay, so we'll do the same thing over here. Grab an eight meter corner. Get it to go that way. And then we're gonna just run this all the way down to the other end. And I kind of, I kind of think of these as almost like sunshades, maybe, uh, or you could even think of them as solar panels. I don't know why we don't have solar power in this in this game. You'd think that. Uh, oh, wait a second. Hold on. I went too far over on this side. Or did I? Yeah, I... Hmm. Okay, wait a second, though. Do I like that better? Hmm. I had intended to do it this way, you know, and keep it in the center. I'm going to run out of jetpack fuel here. Um, tell you what, let's do. This is what I intended to do. I am curious, though, as to how it would look from down below if we here i'm gonna have to bring this out and then let's get the corner piece again and then what we'll do is we'll bring that down About halfway. I think I like that better, actually. Now that now that I see it, I was gonna, you know, like I said, hold it in a tile. But now that I look at it, I think I like that better. Okay, so yep, I'm gonna go back up there and get that wrapped all the way around uh, according to that positioning. All right, we got that done. Yeah, that looks a lot better, actually, than what I had originally planned. Very cool. Just adds more flavor to the top of the building. And again, you know, kind of think of those maybe as like sunshades or even potentially solar panels. We have power and we have lighting that we still have to take care of. Um... As far as lighting down here goes, lighting, you know, lighting in the logistics, on the logistics floor in this game is a pain in the ass because they don't give us a whole lot of options in terms of, you know, smaller lights that fit. Oh, we need to put that there. So maybe, uh, maybe we won't light things up down here. I mean, it's so open anyways that it, it's not like the logistics floor in this factory, which was pitch black when you went in there, you know, when you had global illumination on, which actually I have turned off at the moment so we can see what we're doing. I'll turn, we'll turn it on at the end and see how things look. So, but for in here, um... I mean, you can almost make the same argument for in here, too. It's just so open and airy that even even at nighttime, it's not going to be that dark. But why don't we run some lights anyways and just kind of see how we feel about it. And once we have the lights in place, then we'll finish off with the power. 
There is another thing we could maybe do if the game will let us. This isn't going to do a really good job of lighting the place, but it could aesthetically look cool. If we just put floodlights at the top of each of these. Rather than, you know, running lights along the ceiling and kind of obscuring the view. Though we might still do that too, we'll see. Let's try this first though and just kind of see how we like it. All right, so we're gonna have a bit of a challenge in the corner because it doesn't want to attach to anything. Yeah, let's just do this. I don't know why I didn't think about that in the first place. Can't take me anywhere. Because then it's just facing the same direction as that light. Yeah, I'm making this way too complicated. Do we also want to run ceiling lights? Like, do a row right down the center. Why don't we get these lights hooked up first, and we'll just kind of see where we're at. And we also need to address power, too. Okay, so. Power's coming in from that line there. And I think... Let me see something here. If we... Whoops, wrong thing. Okay, so we can hook those up to there. I don't want to put them on the glass, but I don't mind putting them on that. I mean, you could put them on the glass, too, and just assume there's like a rubber grommet or something in there, but let's not do that. Okay, so. We want to be about one click down from that seam. Right there. Now we're going to assume that there's conduit going through this pillar for these wires. And not worry about it from there. All right, now let's cut this and grab this and connect it there and run this to the insulator. should be all we have to do outside. We're going to run that wire through and run that wire through. I thought about maybe doing something from the ceiling. You know what? I have another idea. I need to, I need to test this though, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have a plan, and I think this is gonna look really cool. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the frame floor piece, and I want to connect it right there. Make sure that's in the center. Okay, and then let's run that all the way down to the other end. Good. Okay, and then we're going to grab the that, and we're going to run it down there. And we're going to run this down here, like so. And we clear the we clear the indicator light thingy bar, whatever the hell that thing's called. Um, I think we'll be able to get away with it over here, too, with the manufacturer. Um, what we want to do is... I think I... Uh, hold on. 
There we go. I think I might have doubled up on this one, did I? Oh, no, I guess I didn't. Okay, zoop that down there. Ah, you know what? That's okay. It's clipping a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that. That's not bad. Okay. So, um, let's, uh, let's run these all the way down to the end. We have everything ran. Um, now, one thing that, uh, there's a couple things we could do. We, we could either provide supports for these from off of the floor. And if we do that, um, we could either go with maybe a frame wall coming, coming down or up or whatever. So that's one way to do that. Or instead what we could do is use a metal beam like that. Now another thing that would sometimes happen in this situation in real life is this would be a hanging ceiling, so there'd be cables actually coming off the ceiling to support this. But, you know, from down from the raptors. But we don't really have anything... We don't really have any way to do that unless we used electrical cable. Okay. And then we placed a outlet there. Maybe we bring it into that spot. Is that the right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, and then we stand right on top of this and look straight up. All right, and then grab a power line and run it like that. So if we did that, you know, at appropriate intervals all the way down, it would certainly Uh, you know, give the impression that this is a hanging ceiling. I just, hmm, I just think it might look a little odd, though, that it's hanging off the insulators themselves. Because obviously you wouldn't do that in real life. Uh, at least I don't think there'd be a scenario where that would be done. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I don't I, I think I like the idea. I think it was a good idea, but I just think it's gonna look a little jank. Um I'm not gonna completely rule out the idea of this, but I think for now We're going to go with one of these other two solutions. So the question now is, which one of these do I like better? <clears throat> this is a little cleaner. But this matches better. I'd like to... It's too bad I couldn't get these in the center. How could we maybe do that? Uh, 
no, that's not what I want. Let's grab, let's go back to here and grab the U. Oh, you know what? We might build the two if we lock it and then, oh, there we go. That's what the doctor ordered right there. Well, that's not what the doctor ordered. What the hell, man? Why can't you just behave and do things your way you're supposed to? Get that up there, but flip it this way. Yeah, I like that. I think I like that. I mean, the beam's okay, but it just... It doesn't quite match as like I would like it to. I think we're going to go with this. So I'm going to... I'm just going to go down the line and and get these set up next got all the supports in place and uh, uh, because it uh, it turned nighttime I went ahead and hooked up uh, all the lights too just to kind of see how all that looks we could put those on a controller and even maybe change the color just to kind of play around with the colors a little bit but uh, one thing I do notice that I'm not super thrilled about is that the corner lights are not on exactly the same level as the lights everywhere else. I'm pretty sure what it's connecting to is the frame wall. What if we zoopity duped those all along there? That actually doesn't look terrible anyway. Um, that last one's probably clipping. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we can't have the last one there. Um, okay. It, oh, damn it. That does let me raise it a little bit, but then it's... Well, I want to make sure it's even with that. So that means it's got to hang down just a bit here. Did it again. I got to double click it. There. Okay. This could actually look good. Okay. Let's, uh, and, and I'll even leave those frame walls up there because it works. Let's run that over to there and put that there. To there, that to there, that to there. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like it. I do like it. Okay, let me go fix these ones down here. Much better, much better indeed. Okay, I like it. All right, back to this. Um, so the idea, of course, if you haven't already figured this out, is we're going to hang the power uh, down from this, these little hanging rafters now. So let's run a line from there to there to start. And then it's just kind of going to be a matter of positioning as close as possible to each of the insulators. Uh, let's grab one of these. I think... I think I'm just going to put put them in the, on the intersections as close as possible to each insulator and wire them up that way. Okay, so let's go... From here to, we'll go right down the center here. Uh, yeah, okay. And then we'll just come to the first section of the insulators and I think I'll actually go here rather than that one. Okay, let's disconnect you. 
and reconnect you like so. And same thing here. Disconnect you. And clipping. And that's good enough. I think there is actually about a half an inch of space there anyway. So I could either do it that way or I could, you know, to maybe have a little bit less angle, go there and and then bring this one over to there, I guess. down like that um yeah i think i think that's a little bit cleaner the thing is is you know not all of the machines are going to be positioned exactly the same so it's gonna you know the wiring is going to vary somewhat i will run a central you know kind of almost like a bus line all the way down the center though for sure and then how I decide to wire them off to the sides will really just kind of depend upon, you know, where the machines are positioned. Um, yeah, so that's going to take me a little while to do. So I think I'm going to do all that off camera and I'll bring you guys back when I have these all wired up. We're almost done. Okay, everybody, we got uh, all the power hooked up in here and I think it looks pretty nice, all things considered. Um, yeah. Better than having a bunch of power poles on the on the floor all over the place. There are a couple more things that I want to do before we are finished. Uh, the first thing is that I was thinking about putting some catwalks up along the inside edge of these hanging ceilings. Let's look at that. I'm not sure I'm going to like that. Uh, let's do the straight catwalk ramp and yeah, we want that to go there. Let's change to zoop mode. And then what we'll do is we'll just set it, set it up in this first section and then we'll look at it and see how I like it. Oh, that's not, that's not right. Let's try that again. Get you this way and up to there. And then this piece needs to be a corner, catwalk corner. Something like that and like that. Okay, let's see how we feel about this. I think it actually looks nice. Okay, um, so, so let's let's uh, zoop de doop down further that way. Um, but when we get to Okay, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five. We have five divisions, so one, two, so we could make, um, whoops, we could make a cross piece going on, let's see, the second and the f fourth ones. Yeah, actually. I like that idea. Okay, so on the second and the fourth ones, we'll do a cross piece. But let's get, do the outline first. Oh, shit. <laughs> How many times have I done that? A bazillion. One time I was building a really high road in, status, uh, in update five playthrough over the this big canyon in the northern forest 
and I was, you know, zooping out and I mistimed it and fell to my death. It was before I had a parachute or anything. Did I accidentally double up on a few of those? Let's just redo them just in case. Ah, I did. See, look at that. I certainly did. All right, so now on the... F on this second and f fourth crossing, we are going to... Well, that's not going to be even, so we'll just hold it to the west side. Uh, okay, so this piece needs to be the T crossing. And then that can go to there. And that also needs to be a T crossing. Alright, let's do the same thing on the fourth so let's see that's the second third and this is the fourth here right okay make this a T crossing I can go to there this a T crossing. Make sure the rails go in the right direction. Nope, I didn't make sure the rail was going the right direction on that one. I thought I did, but it must have twisted around on me or something. There we go. I like it. I do believe I like it. Now, how the hell are we going to get up there? <laughs> and I'm thinking a ladder is going to be the simplest solution. And appropriate because here again, it's just a catwalk. So we could just have a ladder to get up there. So we're basically right there. Okay, I think I'm good with that. We don't need big bulky stairs going up to the catwalk. If it was a high traffic area, that'd be different, but it's not, so. Okay, there's there's two more things. Got to thinking that it's kind of odd that these glass beams would be hanging down here with well, I guess that so it does have some support from the pillars, like the center pillar. Uh, what I was thinking, though, is doing this. Grabbing the wall frames and, you know, just put some so extra supports in like that. I think I like that. How does that look from out here? I think it looks okay. All right, so yeah, I'm going to go along and put all of these in, except for places, of course, where it's going to not work, like uh, there for sure. Um, Yeah, that... Uh, yeah, that's okay. I I'm going to let that one slide. All right. Got that wrapped all the way around. It looks like we need one right here, too. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to build ourselves a light control panel. And we're going to pop that down right there. All right, let's um, grab this cable and put a thingy there and then run that down to there. Let's run another one up to there. And 
then that one can go up to uh, there, I think. Yep. All right, let's get rid of that and connect this into the light. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into here. We're going to edit the green and load our lime green preset, which is our default color, and set that. Oh, wrong button. Uh, why is that not working? Okay, something's not working right. Oh, I think I have this backwards. I do. Yeah, I got that turned backwards. Can we flip it around the other way? Is it the same on both sides? It is. Nice. Okay. I was going to say, man, what the hell? That should work. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Uh, we'll go to the green color, edit it, load our lime. Oh, I guess it already it kept that. Hey, look at that. Oh, this is neat. I like it. I do indeed like it. Um, okay, what does it look like in here with global illumination? Let's go to options and video and let's find that setting. Global illumination. Let's turn it, let's turn it all the way up to high. Well, it's it's very atmospheric, but it's also pretty damn dark in here. What's it look like down below? It actually looks really cool with all the, you know, little accent lights on the belt and everything. Uh, but definitely too dark to see anything. And therefore, not super realistic. So now I guess the question is, do I run a row of lights all the way across the ceiling? Or do we want to run them maybe along the catwalks? Can I put a light on the catwalk? No. It, uh, it'll do that, but I think it's... Well, I mean, we could do that, I suppose. All right, let me... Let me mess with this a bit, and I'll come up with a solution, and I'll bring you guys back, show you the solution, and then we'll wrap up this, this episode. All right, guys, um, I'm back. Had a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I actually uh, uh, finished out the the episode. Um, and then after I finished out the episode, I realized that my drive was my recording drive was completely out of space. Um, it's because I've probably spent a good solid seven hours on this episode. I mean, I haven't recorded seven hours straight, but for a, a, a big part of that time I recorded. Plus I forgot to remove um, my recording from yesterday's episode, which was also very, very long. So anyway, uh, the weird thing is the windows didn't give me an error message like it usually does. So I didn't notice it. And 
so I lost, I don't know, maybe another 20 minutes or so of, uh, of footage. So let me just kind of get you up there and what happened here, and then we'll wrap things up. So I, um, what I ended up having to do is rewire all of the, uh, all of the wiring for, for the entire factory, just because I had originally run my uh, main bus line right down the center of these racks but then when i went to put the lights in i i was having too much uh, too many issues with stuff clipping um to the point where i just tore the whole damn thing down you know the wiring of course not nothing else and r completely redid it so what i did is i ran the main bus lines down the side um the left hand side all the way down and that and that way it wasn't going down the center and uh, you know getting clipped into the lights uh, there are a couple of places where there is a little bit of clipping happening but it's it's a fairly clean setup and I you know I tried to position things so that you know that was you know very minimized so we got that done um, and I think I think that's pretty much it I think that's pretty much it uh, oh no I did I actually did do one other thing I put um, I put some lights down here as you can see and I have those on, I actually have two light switches. So this one controls the floodlights up at the top and the ones underneath. And, you know, it's currently set to the green color. And then this one controls these these lights. So they're, they're on their own circuit. And these ones I'm just keeping white. I'm not turning them green because it, you know, it gets a little, it gets to be a little bit too much. And, um, yeah, so that's the end result. And I think... If it was if it was nighttime, um, if it was dark out, I'd I put global illumination back on and, and show you what it looks like. But it's not really going to make a whole lot of difference during the day. I mean, we could try it. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I was going to tell you. I just I, I experimented with putting those you know big ginormous floodlight towers up on the roof. Just I don't know. I, I thought why not? <laughs> and I think it looks kind of cool up there. It, lo it looks really good at nighttime. And um, while I was at it, I also added, you know, some of these FUD lights to our, you know, our staging area, too. I'm planning on keeping this area open pretty much all of the time because I use it to, you know, to, to test things and build out blueprints and that and that sort of thing. Uh, however, I might, I might run this road through here anyways. But, uh, you know, I'm still, I, I still may block it at times, but just to, you know, just to run it through. So, we're, you know, we're creating distinct blocks in the city here as as we put it together uh but yeah so i put those lights up there i don't know if i'll leave them up there permanently but i just thought i would try it and just see what it looks like and it is kind of neat uh but but i'm not going to put them around the entire building because you know I, I just wanted them over here because this is the area that we're in most of the time okay so um yeah i wish it was dark now i know there's a mod you can get that you can make it dark but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of playing, uh, well, I'm not kind of, I am playing this whole thing without any mods at all, so. Uh, I think we'll just keep keep going uh, for that. Okay, let's let's turn this on and just see what it looks like. It Yeah, I guess it did make a little bit of a difference, didn't it? Oh, yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. I like it. Um... The other, another thing that looks pretty cool too, I don't know, if, I can't remember if I showed this to you in the footage that I lost or if, if I showed it to you earlier, but if you come down here, it looks really cool how, you know, how the, the beams of light shine down on the, on the water pump. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of neat how the global illumination is doing that. But anyway, that wraps up this build. This was a lot of fun and I, I really... I love the way that it came together. I think it looks great. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results. Hope you guys are, too. Uh, coming up in the next episode is, well, well, what's coming up? I'm not sure if we'll do this exactly in the next episode, but um, what we need to do is we need to get started on circuit boards and computers. And once we have that in place, then we'll be able to finally finish out Phase 3. We'll, have to, we'll make those 100 adaptive control units now here's a news flash <laughs> i found out from you guys in the comments because remember this is my first time playing this far into the game um so you know everything we're doing from here on out is brand new to me and i haven't really 
I haven't really watched anybody else play this far into the game either. Anyway, so I was informed in the comments that I'm going to need 8,000 <laughs> adaptive control units for the next phase. 8,000 people. We need 100. Making 100 in the, has been kind of a pain in the ass just to make those 100. And now we're going to need 8,000. That's insane. <laughs> That's like, what? Are you kidding me? So, this whole idea about, you know, temporary uh, automated wiring and all that kind of stuff. Now, uh, with with having to do that much, we're probably going to have to make a permanent uh, production line for automated wiring and for, you know, anything else we're going to have to do. I mean, we've got, we already have everything else, uh, you know, that we need for the for the adaptive control units already automated. I mean, we don't have huge amounts of it, but at least it is automated so we can work on it over time. Um, you know, because so, so we just finished heavy modular framing. We're going to do computers and circuit boards. So I am going to definitely have to set set up a production chain, a permanent production chain for this too. So, wow, I, I just didn't know. 8,000, my God. You know, you're, you're jumping from 100 to 8,000. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you know there's going to be other things of course too that we're gonna to have to feed into the space elevator so we're we're gonna to have to get trains going and hey you, you know the game really scales up and it gets exponentially you know more challenging the further along you go but it's satisfactory and it's fun so anyway all right guys that's gonna be it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and that building's sexy <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.